Greetings, Elder Blacklight, the light of the night. We're talking about the game of war, chess, and our queen, the crystal. Let me make this crystal clear. Represents the black man. The frosty, the snowman, represents the Caucasian. Now, this horse could jump over men. And he's the only one who can do that. The queen is valuable because she can move. Once she has a freedom of movement, she can move straight, backwards, sideways, at, a, at an angle. The pawns are there as as uh, gods or sacrifices, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to. You don't have to sacrifice your pawns. See, the pawns is the least valuable. Each uh, piece has a value, but evidently the king and the queen are the most valuable. In the black community, our queen has already been captured and weaponized against us. Since she's weaponized against us, if she's pregnant with our seed, our seed is weaponized against us too. Because this is how the queen relates to the black man. If the black man don't got a job, don't got no money to pay bills. Now listen, the word bill. Bill is a debt. Who do we owe a debt to? Do we owe a debt to, to the Supreme Being God, the Most High? When he created us the most valuable piece on the planet Earth, the original Asiatic black man, cream of the planet, God of the universe, we are chip off the old block. We're the direct descendants from the creator, us and our woman. So who we owe? The Caucasians say that he's the first man on the planet. And the planet belongs to him. And he's conquering us, every inch of the planet, every day. For the mineral rights and human resources. So that bill that we owe we paying it to him just to rent the little space and time that we have left. So who gave him the authority to give laws when our father, the supreme being, is the supreme authority? And we inherited his authority. Now how did we ever confuse that with the Caucasian? A lot of trickery went down. You can trick the mind. You can baffle the mind and trick the mind. But it's a process and you have to know the right uh, methodology. To do to trick the mind, and the Caucasian learned it from one of our scientists. He taught them trichnology. 
which you know is another word like for psychology. He taught them how the mind works. Taught them how to lie, how to deceive. So, our woman is captured on, on, on the frosty side of the board. And we don't have no uh, mate, queen for the king. So, he does the king any kind of way he want to do him. And we don't have an army, a real army. See, the woman, if he captures the woman, a black woman, and he uses money, and she thinks money has value, so she don't have to be over there to be captured by him. She could be in the same bed sleeping side by side with us. But she know that he has this. And we don't. In order to get this, we gotta surrender our position and dance by his music. And then he pays us and she think if we don't have a whole lot of these, we ain't nothing. But even if we have a whole lot of these, he the one that prints them up. We don't. His face tells you that he's the master of printing these dollar bills. He prints them up at will as many as he want at any given time. It takes this to give birth to your baby. It takes this to treat you when you're sick. It takes this to educate you. It takes this to even bury you. So we think. It really don't, but this was in our mind. He used this, he weaponized this, and then he weaponized our woman against us. So her mind is on this all the time for security. When she have a baby by us, she don't train the baby to go out and take back what's really his. She trained the baby to submit to his education system. She trained the baby to submit to whatever type of uh, system he has in place to keep us tranquilized. Ent entertainment. Even though we invented it. Even though we created all, all of what he never did created, create, and we taught it to him, he reversed it. He reversed the money, weaponized the money, and using it on us. So all moves we make, we don't have no idea why we're making them. But in the meanwhile, he's on the tack. When you drive your car down the street, he stops you. Search you. If you feel like shooting you, he will. If you feel like taking you to jail, he will. For no apparent reason, he wants you to know that he's your master. If you're walking down the street, mailing a letter, the white woman calls her man, the police, on you, male or female. And you ain't got to be doing nothing, but she'll call him and say, you look suspicious. 
she'll call him and say she don't like the way you look and you ain't got no business over in her part of town. You got your part of town that you're supposed to stay and you're not supposed to get out of. Even if you got a supreme job, you could be a policeman on 18. You can be a judge on 18. You can be the president of the United States on 18 and they still will harass you, violate you, terrorize you. Why? Because you're stupid. You're the 85%. Stupid and hard-headed. No matter what you do, you can get beaten in the head a thousand times, shot a million times a year. And you'll still do the same thing over and over again. Surrender your godliness to them. This is Black Light. The light of the night.